Hey, hey, this is Mega here, and we're shoot, I'm shooting another Sauron Light Me video. So, uh, so, and this is another one of those videos. Uh, I'm gonna actually make a playlist for this. So, I broke my Sauron again. I've broken this bike, or like parts on this bike, so many freaking times that I'm just gonna make a dedicated playlist to like when I break this thing. The, the beauty of this bike, though, is the parts are really cheap and it's really easy to work on. So, so the you know the pros kind of outweigh the cons. Yeah, stuff breaks all the time, but it's cheap and, and easy to fix. Okay, is what I'm gonna say. So what I got going on in this video is my jack shaft bearings are bad again. Okay, they I've blown them again. Okay, I don't know what what bearings they use. N NBK, whatever bearings these are, they're garbage. They don't last very long. Okay, this one did not last very long. But I'm not gonna lie. I put it through a lot of, I put this bike through a lot of abuse, okay? I think the last, I just drag raced it and I think that's what, this, that finally destroyed it, okay? But um, I had just replaced the primary drive belt with the chain not too long ago and I had to take the jack shaft out and I noted when, when I did install the kit that the, that the bearing was already kind of gritty, it was already going bad. So it was only a matter of time before, you know, it was not not good anymore not mission capable <laughs> that's what i say all right so um i'm gonna sh i'm gonna fire the bike up and then you're i'm gonna basically you can you can hear you can hear when the bearing goes bad okay there's three bearings in this guy okay this is the this is my other jack shaft that went bad so what's going on in this video is we will be uh i will show you what uh what it sounds like when the when the bearing goes bad okay and um, and then and then we'll try to take the bearings out of this. Okay, this this is my other jack shaft where the bearings went bad. And then I've got some new bearings coming in, uh, on the way. Unfortunately, it's not going to be be here before the next drag race, so I'm going to not race in the next drag race. Unfortunately. Um, and yeah, I, I've. I don't know what happens when the bearings go totally bad, and I don't want to find out. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Okay. So uh, yeah, I, I don't want to find out when when if the bearing just like disintegrates you know what happens i'm pretty sure it would not be good and it may not be safe <laughs> that's what i want to say so so yeah um but yeah we're gonna find out i'm gonna show you what it sounds like when they're gone bad we're gonna take the bearings out of this we're gonna disassemble this i'm gonna show you what's inside the guts of this all right uh, it's um this jack shaft is actually missing the uh the pulley I actually have the pulley um because i have i have the the conversion kit on it but it, there's supposed to be a pulley and a cross uh, uh, counter sprocket, counter sprocket, okay, um, for the secondary drive. Um, that's the only thing that's missing, and the two seals, okay. The seal, the seal should be on the counter sprocket, and then um, and then the other seal is on the actual jack shaft itself, okay. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna disassemble this, and then when I get the uh, when I get the bearings, we're gonna go install the new bearings, okay? I will not make a video on how to take the jack shaft out and install it because I've already done that, okay? I will put links in the end of the description if you wanna figure out how to do that. It's really not that hard, okay? <laughs> um, it's it's kind of a lot of work and it, you kinda of have to have like a special tool and everything, but it's, it's honestly, it's not that hard. I've already, I've done it like like three times already. <laughs> it's freaking crazy, right? All right, so yeah, let's go, uh, so let's go fire the bike up and we'll go listen to it, all right? all right here we go so I'll, I'll do a video from this uh, perspective and then I'll I will do a close-up uh, perspective to so you guys can hear a little more closely okay so we'll do two views all right I'm gonna fire the bike up I'll do it at different speeds too all right so here we go and uh, so it's on a stand and it's got a flat tire right now so it's not going anywhere <laughs> okay 
It's even louder when you're moving. Up. But yeah. Okay. So we're gonna get. We're gonna. I'll do a close-up video, and then the, and then we'll go start taking it apart. Okay. Okay. Here's your close-up. Okay, so I hope that gave you a good idea of what you're, you're listening for. Um, it's kind of like a clanking sound, okay? It's even louder when you're riding, okay? So uh, when you when you put load on it, it becomes even worse, so. Um, but that's what it sounds. It just sounds like a kind of repetitive clanking sound. It should speed up. It should speed up when while the, while the motor speeds up, okay? As you go faster, it, it'll, it'll become more frequent, the clanking sound, okay? So uh, yeah, so let's go take a look at the jack shaft. All right, here's me here. So this is the original jack shaft for my Suron Light B. Okay, it's a Suron Light B MX. Okay, uh, we did note that the, the replacement one I got is a little bit different. Okay, it doesn't have all this Sword EM01 stuff here. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick look at it. So there is a bearing right here. It looks like there's one bearing on this side and two on this side. Um, that's probably why these go bad, okay? Because there's only one on this side. Um, and then there's a, there must be a spacer of some sort in the middle. That's what I'm thinking, but I haven't taken it apart yet. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, there's one bearing here, and it looks like there's two bearings right here. And these ones still look good, so that's, that is the problem. Okay. Um, the big, I believe the bigger one, the bigger side of the two, okay, I believe... I believe this is the this is the primary drive side and this is the secondary side because uh because there's a there's a little space here for the seal okay um, there's no space on the seal for here okay so this the seal there's supposed to be supposed to be a rubber seal that goes right here okay um, I've already it's all, it's still on the bike okay I took this off and I put it on the other one um, and there should be two spacers okay there's a spacer here and a spacer here okay. And it doesn't look bad, you know, but it is. It's you know that's what that's where all that noise is coming from. Because when I changed it, my bike became quiet. Okay, so so if you spin it, I can definitely feel it's gritty. It's definitely gritty on this side. So the one with the single bearing, the side with the single bearing is bad. Okay. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's go take this bad boy apart. And if you're wondering what kind of bearing it is, it is a it's a pretty common, kind of common bearing. It's a 6002 RS, okay? It says here, I'll put a subtitle below, but it is a 6000-2 RS bearing, okay? But basically, it's a it's a certain it's a certain size bearing, okay? And it's a, I think it's a single seal. There's a single rubber seal. It might be double sealed, I'm not sure, but All right. So, let's go take this apart and I'll show you how Okay, on. never mind. This tool will not work because it's not small enough. It will not fit through the diameter of the bearing hole, unfortunately. Even if I try to squeeze it inward as much as I can, it does not go in. So we would either have to destroy the bearing or something. Okay, so there is a spacer in there. We can use that to remove it. If you see there, there's a little spacer right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to press it out. I'm going to use my 20-ton my, uh, press to press it out. Okay, you can stick something like a punch in there of some sort and punch it out. Okay, we're going to punch it out from this side. Uh, no, we're going to punch it out from this side because this side has the two bearings so it'll be harder to get out. And then we'll do it from this side. Okay, I don't think it really matters. but <laughs> Alright, that's that's the plan. So yeah, Hades Omega, if, if you don't have the tools to remove these bearings, you could just buy the whole jack shaft, but like the whole jack shaft, I mean it's $45 from Lunacycle if you get it. From, I think I paid $70 from eBikezilla. 
as of this video, I know they do have a jack shaft, but I'm like, I don't want to keep on buying these jack shafts if all I have to do is replace the bearings. Plus, they give you crap bearings because apparently the bearings don't last very long. So, so yeah, um, it's probably all those hard launches and high RPM, you know, Hades Omega is pushing the, the sewer onto its limits, okay? That's probably what's killing it. All right. Okay, so this is what we're going to use to uh, push our bearing out, okay? My 20-ton Harbor Freight Press. There it is. Okay, so uh, so um, I thought about using a punch, but I found out that the quarter-inch extension will do the trick, okay? So this part will not go in, but this part does, okay? It has to be a pretty long one, though, okay? This is probably about six inches or something. Um, and then we're going to push, the, we're going to go all the way from here to here, okay? And then you can see there's a spacer okay, in there, Okay, if you okay? look in there, you see there's a spacer, okay? See, there's something just, like, moving around in there. Okay, and you got to remember to put that back, okay? But we're going to we're gonna move that spacer to the side a little bit, and then that's what we're going to press on the bearing for. You're pretty much, if you do this, you're pretty much going to destroy the bearing, but this bearing is already destroyed, so let's, uh, let's go and do it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there's my bearing press apparatus there. <laughs> okay, um, so the, it's I got the two plates here. I'm using the little ones with the triangular cutouts that make a square. All right, so basically the, you want to make sure that these parts right here, okay, um, yeah, you don't want to have this block because then the bearing won't go have anywhere to go. Okay, and then um, you're gonna want to hold it like that. Okay. And then you're gonna make sure you hold this a little bit at an angle. What I did is I added an extension so it'll, because uh, uh, like the the press is like the wrong length and everything. So okay, so you gotta make sure you hold it crooked. Okay, hold it crooked like that. Okay, so it has something to press on it. Okay, if it if you put it in the middle, it just goes all the way through. Okay, um, perhaps when we push the other ones out, we can we can do that. We can like go all the way on the other side. Okay, and then just use this part to press the bearing out. Okay, but this is the side with the single bearing, okay? The the primary drive side is the side with the single bearing, okay? All right, wish me luck. So you kind of have to guide it in, too, because this might just want to fall down all the time. Okay, and then uh, what you want to do is my if it gets stuck, you might want to move it different sides, okay? Okay, I'm going to do it from this angle, from this zoom here, okay? You're not going to be able to see me pumping it, but... But you'll see me guide it in, okay? Should come out pretty easy. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, I heard something move. Okay, I, see some, I feel something moving. At some point, the bearing will just drop out, and probably the spacer will drop out. So, what you might want to do is get like a uh, something, uh, put up something underneath. You gotta the, put this basket <laughs> thing. underneath. The thingy here. Okay. Alright, that should help catch it when it drops, okay? Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Gone, gone. It's stuck in there. I know it's kind of pressing at an angle, but it should be fine. I hope. Hopefully, we're not damaging it. There we go. Came out. All right, and there it is. There's nothing on the other side anymore. Got it? And it fell into the basket. Oh, I got him. All right, so there you go. That's what came out. A bearing. Okay, there's no grease on this on this side. And then there's there's a spacer right here. Okay, I don't think it matters what what side it is. Okay. So you gotta you gotta like kind of press it out at a weird angle. Now, alternatively, if you did not have a press, you could probably use a vise and a hammer, okay, and a and the and the this guy, okay. <laughs> okay, so that's one side. We got we still gotta do. Okay, the other so side. there's the inside right there. So this one could be easier, okay, since there, we got this big old hole in there now. You can use, use a regu regular extension. So okay, so we're going to set the vise up again. Uh, just make sure that where 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 there, there's an open spot right here, okay? Just make sure this part is holding the bearing, okay? And there's nothing obstructing this part right here, okay? Okay, so for this one, uh, we're going to use a... Uh, 
three eighths extension. Okay, it's like a six inch three three eighths extension, and we're gonna the the part that you would connect the socket to. I'm just gonna press it down in there. Okay, and then that should take care of business and should be even even easier than the last one. Okay, there's two bearings in there. They should just come right up. Hopefully, <laughs> if you got a ton of thumb press, it should be easy. I'm gonna put my little basket back under here. Catch it. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna put it on the press. I'm just gonna leave these kind of a good distance apart. Okay, just enough where like I can get it on there. Okay. Hopefully the bearing goes all the way through. Okay. Yeah. So just make sure. Yeah. Just make sure. Okay. That looks all right. So I'm gonna have to push this up here. So the press, the the push part is going to uh, it's gonna be fine. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. Round two. in the center okay. okay hopefully we don't break it It takes a lot of uh, a lot of pressure to get it out. Okay, I think it, the bearing is hitting this thing here. That's why it's not coming out. Okay, I've re realigned it. I'm gonna go go for it again. There we go. Just kind of just weaseled its way out. There they are. Okay, there it is. There's no more bearings in there. Hopefully, I didn't damage it too bad. <laughs> it looks good. Okay, I don't know how you're supposed to do that if you got if you're doing it on a vise, man. You may damage it on the vise, so. Uh, I highly, highly, highly suggest that if you're going to change your jack shaft bearings, have a press, okay? The press is the proper tool <laughs> to use, okay? Um, so these two bearings did not come out so easily, okay? I'm not going to lie. These these ones gave me a lot of fight. Um, you heard it like it just kind of just pop, and then it and then it went out, okay? So this, these were in there pretty good. All right. So, I mean, what, I guess what you could do is what you could do is yeah you could heat this up with the torch all right if you heat it up with the torch it should come out easier too so all right but that's the two bearings right there i think they're still in good shape yeah they are okay cool there we go okay so that's the uh that this is the uh the primary drive side all right and this is the spacer that goes in between them all right um uh, those bearings look like they're okay. This bearing does not look like it's okay. Yeah, see, it doesn't want to spin. It's very gritty. All just that is enough to make it, you know. Uh, we, we could probably open it up and see what's wrong with it too. This, this bearing is very smooth, see? No noise at all. 
pretty smooth. Okay. So here's a little, here's the second bearing. Okay, this one is a little grittier, but it's still smoother than the other one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This one was like it's got a lot of play in it too. Look at that. I don't remember if this is the one on the inside or the outside, but yeah. Horrible. I don't know why I didn't just do double bearings for both sides, but this one doesn't spin at all. Right when I when I flick it, it doesn't spin at all. Okay. There's a good amount of play. Yeah, that bearing's done, dude. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the best one. This one is probably still usable, okay? It still does have some play, okay? So yeah, these these are like done. These are not these are not very good bearings, probably. That's probably what it is, okay? But um, so I what we'll do is uh, we'll dissect. I will go dissect the one, the worst one. Not this one. This one, okay? We will dissect the worst one, okay? We'll we'll take we'll take the seal out and then we'll take a look at what's inside, okay? All right, okay, there's the bearing. Uh, what I'm going to use to remove the seal is probably a pick okay we could use a little screwdriver right, here we go i got a pick right here i'm gonna move the seal let's do the the, the outside part i don't care if i break it or anything because uh it's busted already okay so there's the bearing in there all right here's the seal Very gritty. Lots of play. Okay. Still good. It's still intact. It still works. Okay, so that leads me to believe, yeah, you could probably still ride with this, you know, but if this lets go at some point, then you're going to be in trouble. Oh, I see. The race is damaged. Right here. Yeah. Oh, oh no. That's, that's grease. Okay. I think that's grease. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's some kind of grease in there. But look at that. It doesn't move at all. It's very hard to move. And it looks clean in there, too. So. Very gritty. Not good. That's not what you want to see. Okay, so there you go. So this is your outer race. All right, this is the inner race right here. Okay, and the two and the ball bearings are right here, and then this is the cage for it. Okay, it's the or the retainer. I think you could probably take it apart. I've taken these apart before. No, okay, it's probably not, it's a non it's not serviceable. <laughs> uh, what you could do is you could take these out and clean them and regrease them, but but yeah, it would be, be better to replace it. Okay, you, it takes a lot of work to get to this bearing. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there you go. So I dissected the bearing. Uh, we could take the other part of, side apart also. I'll just push on from this side, I guess. It should pop out the other side. Maybe? Nope. Okay. Don't want to cooperate. So I'm just going to dig into the lip right here. Pry it off. Okay. It may damage it a little bit, but we're not going to put it back on. Okay. spin very easily okay yeah I will go get the best bearing. okay so this is the bearing that's in the best shape look at how easily it, it rolls right very smooth still kind of goes you know when you flick it this one hear that it's actually it's, it's actually rolling pretty smoothly now I mean it's, it's rolling fast but it's because it's there's so much the there's so much tolerance in the bearing now, okay? That's not right. Like look at look at look how much how much that moves. No good. <laughs> that is no good. You do not want that, okay? That is imminent uh imminent failure right there, okay? This one moves a lot too, okay? So I guess all of these bearings are we're getting ready to go, but this is the best one and then this is the worst one right here, okay, I guess. Okay, so this is the uh, anatomy of the uh Suron Light B jack shaft, okay? So that's the jack shaft itself. All right. This is the side with the single bearing. This is the side with the double bearing. Okay. This is the spacer. 
spacer goes in between the bearings, all right? One bearing goes here, two bearings go here, okay? Um, in, the, in the next, in another video, we will, uh, we will be uh, reassembling this, okay? We'll be putting new bearings in it. All right, so look forward to that. Hope you guys learned something. Hope that was entertaining. That is how you disassemble a Sauron Light V jack shaft, okay? Here we go. If you want to know how to take this out of the bike, I will put a link in the this. Uh, I will put a link at the end of the video, and um, and yeah, you, you could check that video out if you want to learn how to take this out of the bike. All right. All right. Here we go. Hope you learned something. Oops. Okay. Sorry. Uh, so I just want to recap how we did this. All right. So he's making use a 20 ton press and a quarter inch uh, socket extension and a three eighths inch uh, socket extension. They're about six inches each. Okay. Um, yeah, so this one you have to kind of go inside and do it, all right, through one of the bearings and then press it that press out the other end, all right. If I for that for that one I would do the one with the one bearing, okay. And then for the two bearings, I just stuck this in the hole, okay, and drove it out from there, okay. The other way, like that, okay. Um, it pretty much damage. It'll pretty much destroy the bearing once you take it out. Okay, so when we put it back, we got to make sure not to mess it up. Um, so if you didn't have a press, all right, uh, what I would do is use a vise. Okay, so you may damage the jack shaft though. It's made out of aluminum, so it's somewhat fragile. Uh, what you could do, yeah, what you could do is put. The jack shaft on the vise like that, okay. Get your driver tool, all right. Push that in there. Get you know, you know, move it sideways a little bit and get it in there so it's on there. And get a hammer, all right. Get a hammer and just go to town on it, all right. <laughs> hey, so I can sit here. I'll simulate with the. This is my simulated hammer right here. The other the extension. Just just hammer that sucker out, okay. I don't think I don't think it would be too hard, okay? But the double bearing was kind of hard, okay? That one did take, that took some uh, some effort on the press to get it out. It would just it just was stuck in there, and then poof, it just popped out all of a sudden, okay? Um, I don't think I damaged it in any way, but it's a pretty nice. Uh, it looks like it's been CNC machine, so this is a really nice uh, hub right here, okay? Or a jack shaft is what I'm gonna say. Never had problems with it, so other than the bearings, okay? So. Okay, so uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, in the next in the next video, we will go uh, install new bearings in it. All right, here's what we got.